Do it again. <laughs> yeah. It is so heavy. Extreme. <laughs> <laughs> Jed with Steve here. In this video, we're gonna be doing motor mounts on the RSX. I bought them secondhand, but some new motor, well, new to me motor mounts from uh, innovative motor mounts with the 75A durometer inserts in them. I bought them from somebody uh, local for pretty cheap. Uh, they're used, but they're still in good condition despite the uh, despite some of the you know the finish on the on the steel parts. They are way better than what I have on right now. Because as you can see, that motor mount right there is done. This piece of rubber, we just pulled it off from there. We just saw it just now and pulled it off. And this part of the metal is broken off. I don't know where it went, but it's broken. I guess from all the moving and stuff. Eventually just gave away. And Steve was telling me earlier, it's like the car is telling me to please, you know, please change these right now. Like, we didn't really see any, if anything was like physically wrong with that side, but I mean, if these are bad and those are bad. And I got three there because like the third one is for the bottom uh, rear of the engine on the subframe. So this should be, I've been needing to do this for a long time now, so it's about time I get to it. They also help stop the exhaust from tapping the floor of the car. Having the car cool down a little bit and then we're gonna get started. We're doing this side first since this is like the most fucked up one, I think. We're gonna remove this or, or move it. There's like three bolts here. Uh, it's like over here, down here. And there's one like over, down in here. It's hard to get the camera in there, but you'll, you'll see it if you're doing this. Uh, we're moving that so that way we can get to this mounting bolt right here. That mounting bolt, there's, there's three of them. One, two, and three under this. You're gonna have to move this two. And then remove this ground, and then these two right here. side, whichever one you're uh, doing, with the jack, and use either a piece of wood or a phone book, or in our case, uh, several pieces of folded up cardboard, because you don't want that jack to like dent the oil pan or anything like that. So for this one, guys, the ones in the chassis are 14 mil, and these, I believe, are 17. Oh, this isn't one. I think you have to use it on this one. This uh, nut. Seventeen. Great. Move and move. Probably the worst of the three. All right, guys, the new one is in. It's pretty simple. We're just putting everything back together on this side. Oh, where does the ground go? Oh, good question. 
I know it looked well good. It looks like the engine needs some movement. All right, guys. So we got the mount in, the, the bolts in. We had to lift uh, the jack a little bit on the engine to make the holes line up, but it wasn't too hard. We're not entirely sure, but we're pretty sure that the torque specs on this side is 44 foot pounds. All right, guys. So we got that in, torqued out the bolts and everything. Uh, I looked it up. It's 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 actually like 40 foot pounds on those uh, bolts and nuts or whatever. Um, so now, yeah, we're just going to put the power steering back, the ABS modulator back, find a place where to, where to put this ground back now, because uh, for some reason on this, on these balance, there isn't any. Uh, but yeah, so we're just going to do that and move over to that side. All right, guys, so we're doing the transmission side now. We got to remove the battery. You might be able to get away with it with your battery tray still in there if you got an intake. Uh, take it out. We might be able to get away with with my intake. I had to move my catch can. Uh, from what I can tell, you don't have to remove the mount part that goes to the transmission itself. You just gotta remove this center bolt. Um, and then the three mounting bolts of this part that go to the chassis, which are 17s. Right now we got the jack situated on the transmission. So we are ready to go. It wasn't even that tight. I can't wrench it. It doesn't have enough uh, tension. All right, guys. So we did have to take out the battery tray because it was in the way of that mount bolt right there. And uh, from what we can tell, the only way to get to it is with a ratchet wrench. But it's no biggie once all that stuff's out of the way. Such a time saver. Good. At least they're not like super duper unnecessarily snug or yeah. tight or cruddy. Yeah. Damn. They look like they're in decent shape. Not leaking or anything. All right. Well, regardless. What we're putting on is better, so. Yeah, I was gonna say mount it to the body first and then we'll manipulate the jack to line up that center bolt. Yeah. So we're gonna finish this part up. It's the same torque specs as this side. Although those two on the bottom, I don't see how you could get a torque wrench in there, so. You need a beam torque yeah. wrench. Yeah, so, which we don't have. So we're just gonna <laughs> do it the German, German way. German. We didn't have it on camera, but that back bolt was a little hard to get in with these new mounts because they're thicker than OEM. But you just, you know, just gotta finesse uh, the bolt to get in there. You'll, you'll get it in. But yeah, this side is done. Um, now we're just gonna put the battery back and all that stuff and go for the last one. One hour later. All right, guys. Uh, we did the, the rear engine mount. Uh, I wasn't able to record because it's, it's such a tight space under the car. I can't get my camera in there. I don't have my GoPro, you know, so I couldn't get a, you know, a, a good shot or anything. But so here's the OEM. What this is? Is this plastic? This is fucking plastic. It doesn't feel heavy at all. What the fuck? Okay. Well, look, well, anyway, so this sits like this. Imagine this wall is where the engine. It sits like this. You got these 14 mil bolts, three of them. Under, they go on two, two, these two on one side of the subframe, this one on the other side of the subframe. It's just like that. There's a 17 inch, or a 17 millimeter long bolt that goes in here. And that's what the engine connects to. So I just undid those, undid that, uh, removed it, had to finesse it from behind the header, put the innovative one in, screw these three, and then had Steve mess with the jack to, uh, to line up the engine with this hole. Um, 
and it put the bolt in and that's it. It, was, it didn't take long at all. It took like 15 minutes. I, I thought that was going to be the hardest one, but it's actually the easiest one. Um, I just thought it was hard because, I mean, it just, it's just kind of hard because you're, I'm, I'm doing, we're doing work on our back, you know, so <laughs> kind of annoying. But it's, it's, it was pretty simple. This is actually the, the simplest one. Torque them to like 50, the, the long bolt to 50. Uh, I didn't torque spec the three mounting ones because I used them, we just I just used an impact and it's that's way above like 50. So just fucking just gunned them in, you know, it's all good. I also went ahead and installed the downstream O2 sensor. I'm gonna plug in the OBD2 sensor dongle thing and bring up the app on my phone and see if I can clear that clear that uh, code. Hey! Look at that, no check engine light. That's what's up. That'll be it for today's video. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you want. Like this video. Follow me and Steve on Instagram. And yeah, catch y'all on the next one. Peace.